Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the Imperial Britain campaign. We have just moved our so, uh, our um, convoys back into the Med, so we are facing a significant challenge from enemy sub-raiding in the region, naturally. But, that's okay, we're luring out the German subs, essentially, so that we can wipe them out with the newly deployed huge fleet that we have managed to assemble by stealing all these ships from our pub. Which is going to be excellent. Excellent. And it looks like these guys in the east are ready for wrapping up time. On the negative side, Japan is currently justifying against us, which makes me very scared because I, uh, I certainly don't want to face the Japanese high seas fleet. They have 300 vessels at their disposal to my uh, my 160, and I have no doubt that they have significantly more advanced aircraft carrier technology than I do, because we've been neglecting it in favor of screens and, uh, and capital ships. So I'm very nervous about the Japanese invasion, especially if the Japanese decide to deploy their navy far afield. Hopefully they won't, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. Um, what else should I be doing right now? Did repel that invasion. Good. Lots and lots of battles in the channel now that we've re-allowed our fleet to go there. And honestly, it seems to be going pretty well. Losing... Oh, yeah. Enemy planes are causing some problems. Let's increase our air presence over the channel somewhat. Got another, another 400 planes we could have out here. Oh, and we should be using exiled manpower for them. Get those juicy bonuses from using up uh, Polish aces and exile prevail and all that. Good. Bring them down. Excellent. Excellent news. German ship count must be dropping. Yeah. Well, about where it's been, honestly. Problem is, subs are so cheap to produce that the, uh, the Germans will be able to replace their losses fairly easily. Tehran looks like it's on its last legs and I couldn't be happier. Ready. Superb. Looking very good here. Yep. We're going to get that one. Excellent. Just wrapping up operations in the east. Excellent. And there's some more war support. That's what I like to see. You guys deployed. I could uh, make sure you're in the right kind of setups. We only want to use 200 wings. Good. You don't have perfect range from there. Let's, let's fly everyone out of here. Bad, sh bad supply in Borneo, eh? Really? What's the bottleneck? bottleneck? Ports in Borneo? Ah, because we're not allowing it through this one. I think I would like to stick with that. So here. Ah, I can't because you are a... Ah, I want one. Oh, I can't build dockyards? What? What? That's annoying. Oh, well. Uh, maybe we have to... Oh, I just can't permit the South China Sea. I suppose I could permit the Java Sea. Is there a better port over there? Alright, I guess I'll permit the Java Sea. Well, we should put it on less preferred, though. Yeah, okay. That's much better. Fix that. Good. Alright, Tehran. Crumbling from attacks from multiple directions. The city finally is going to fall. We're going to get the wonderful oil reserves of... Actually, we already have full control of the Iranian oil reserves now, but we will at least be able to divert these troops to the uh, American front. Good. Let's see what we can do to wipe out these volunteers that caused us so much trouble before we go. That would be great. Okay, Tehran falling. Is this going to be enough? I think it might. It might. Not necessarily, but I mean, Nicaraguan guy off service. Nice. Three dead Italian subs. Look at this. Many, 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 many. Ah, we did lose some. Only early ones. Not the worst thing in the world. I trade two early destroyers for two uh, enemy subs right now. Probably not smart from a pure cost benefit perspective, but uh, why didn't you do what I told you and split off? You idiots! <laughs> okay, you guys splitting off? Good. There goes Iran. They have capitulated, given us all kinds of equipment. Oh, and we got full control. That's what I like to see. We need some military police. Honestly, it's about time we started uh, started deploying some military police. So let's get on that. MP with capital.
capitals if you don't mind. I'll use my standard military police signal, symbol rather. How many military police do you think we need to garrison Iran? Probably about 20 odd. Sounds about right. Someone could just grab this, that would be great. And then all of you guys are going to be redeployed to the new theatre. Well, the other problem is, of course, we're going to get a front with China, or sorry, with Japan here soon. <clears throat> and they, they do have a focus to uh, get Siam on board. It's not good. We should probably have the troops in Malaya to deal with that in the short term, but... Well, color me concerned by the potential of a Japanese invasion here. We'd probably have to give up on the oil in the Sam if I were to bet. I would like to hold them here, probably. I don't want to lose Dhaka, though. Maybe we try and hold the city as well. It can only be attacked from two directions, so it's a good, good city to hold. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think a few more divisions from here get deployed to that. 14 divisions to hold back, uh, you know, a couple of hundred. That seems okay, right? <laughs> uh, problems. Problems were had. Okay, American theater. Basically ready to receive new troops. Good, let's have you on the east coast. And let's start getting a command structure going. Um, probably you seem fine. We will need to steal, we got a bunch of field marshals these days. Probably some from foreign, uh, foreign countries would be my guess. Um, who looks good for this? You look pretty spectacular. Desert Fox won't be the most helpful, but, uh, still looking pretty good there. Yes, sir. Uh, this army should be, should be separate. I think that'll be fine. It's going to be a less serious push from this front in the early stages of the war. So I think we'll do him with a different guy. Cunningham, you're up. You've got good defense. So I think he's a good one to use. Though I am going to have to steal some of his divisions to garrison some of these ports. Because obviously no good holding that line. If the Japanese can just sneak around. We'll see how they hold. Some Dutch garrisoning here. Looking good. What are you? Alright, you're the anti-nationalist Spain one. We have done nationalist focus, which is unfortunate for our, our swaying them. But it looks like it's expired now, so that's good. You are the one that I can't garrison. Looks like the Dutch are planning an invasion. Hopefully they take road. That would be superb. Very helpful. Mm. Excuse me a second, sorry. Alright, I have returned, sorry about that. Now, we... Ooh, naval combat in the North Sea. What are we doing? Just, uh... Yeah, why have you got German convoys in the North Sea? It seems very ill-advised. Ooh, we're retreating from enemy subs here. That doesn't sound like us. Got some reinforcements arriving, though. Ooh, boy. The German Reich declares war on the Soviet Union. That's quite a big deal. So. The Comintern has about 350 divisions. Maybe three, maybe... 380. Let's see how they do. I'm very curious if the Soviets are going to be able to hold out here. <clears throat> it's going to be uh, it's going to be hard fought either way. A few more, bit more steel from the Soviets would be lovely. It's going to be very hard fought. <laughs> well, we live. Excuse me. We live in exciting times. That's for sure. We did. Uh, get out of there without too many losses. Good. Yeah, so Italy is going to join everyone, of course. Germany breaks the pack. Called in Peru. Well, 
Isn't that interesting? I mean, dock, sure, I'll take docking rights for no reason. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Looks like the front is staying relatively static. This gives me hope. This gives me great hope. Let's do a Polish extraction campaign. Give me those aces in exile. And uh, something is showing up. There we go. And don't tell me about these. Good. Well, good luck, Soviets. Um, there goes Romania joining. That'll probably be a pretty big change. Romania's got, well, 40 divisions. Not a huge number, but still a significant number. A bunch of planes here that we could do with, honestly, over the channel. Any um, German planes fighting over the channel are German planes that aren't fighting over... Uh, over the Soviet Union. And that's just good for the Allies. Oh dear. Oh no, sorry, that's good. That's a friendly invasion of Rhodes. Not going so well. But they're trying, they're trying. Main task force has sallied out. What are you facing? Just some subs. Oh well. Well, we got them at least, so there's that. <laughs> Alright, well, perhaps instead of moving towards the Americans we decide it's actually time to strike. I think that is the play. I will leave... I will leave one division in the Americas. But I think the time has come for a decisive blow. I think it might be time for D-Day. We're looking good on troop counts, considering how many they'll have tied up on the Eastern Front. And they're losing ground. In the initial days of Barbarossa, they are losing ground. These defenses are woefully insufficient to prevent a huge landing. We've got naval dominance over these seas. They have some ships here, but barely any. Barely any. Okay. Japan, obviously, is going to cause problems. But, uh... And Japan, right, you're at war with, you're at war with the US? No. The Philippines is independent? No. The Philippines just haven't called in... What? <laughs> the Philippines haven't called in America yet? How does that make sense? Spotting enemy navies? Rapidly so. Got them. Get them. Bring them down. It's a lot of subs. Hungary called in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. Courageous has some heavy fires. It's unfortunate. They're still going in there. They have no fear. Bring down those subs. I want to check what our screening is like once these guys deploy into this fight. Still really bad. I don't really understand that. We've only got 10 capital ships. We've got loads of screens. I don't know. I guess you need like five or six times more screens than you have capitals. So I think what we're going to do, these guys that are being deployed... They're going to be invasion forces, I think. I think that we're going to use them to uh, to move against up. against Germany here. So let's be having all our men coming Come home, on. and let's uh, let's Ready, reduce sir. the Norwegian garrison. Attention. Don't worry, Norway. We're not forgetting about you. You will still be defended, but you will be defended in a substantially more aggressive Ready. manner, is how I would put it. Alright, you guys. Great garrison, Narvik. Actually, I think Narvik's probably safe. Let's just bring you down here. We've got a pretty decent invasion force once you count all these guys that were helping in Norway. Plus the guys from Iran. You know, we've got a lot, a lot of divisions we can bring to bear. My concern, honestly, is uh, is Italy. Where Where's Italy going to have their men? How are we doing on Turkey? Getting there, getting there. Hmm. Romania making a little bit of inroads. That's not what I want to see. And Germany has clawed back, but slow progress is not what Germany can afford right now. Not when they're about to be in a two-front war. We've got the oil. We're ready to go. Let's uh, 
Let's industrialize that oil. So we've got the radar up now. Good. Nice coverage. Look at that. We should be able to spot people nice and quick now. Perhaps we should assist building three levels of radar here. What's political power, though? Nah. Nah, it's not doing it. I'd rather have the political power. We've got 50 political power now. Uh, could do the McDonald proposal. I really don't want to lose stability. Don't need the Azores. War bonds is always good. I mean, there's a lot of sieves that we could bring to bear. Let's stop production in Assam. Okay. Well, we're basically going to launch once these guys deploy, which is September. So just hold, keep them pinned down, the Soviets, until September. And then we're going to launch D-Day, and it's going to be glorious. Of course, we've got some resistance occupation over here. I expected that. We've got the military police training that will uh, put that to rights. Battling the English Channel. What are we looking at? Do they have any surface fleet left? I kind of doubt it, honestly. I'm, I'm hopeful that they're... Uh, they're essentially only a sub-force now. And they're barely that. At the... Which is excellent. Okay. Yeah, just... Got probably, what, 30 subs left? Yeah, 30, about 30 subs. It's not going to be good enough. I can tell you that. How? Surely you can have a trait assigned to you by now. Still nothing I actually want. His XP's getting up there, though. How about you? Retreat decision chance don't really need, honestly. All right, a couple more screens. Let's be having them in the main task force, please. Uh, can't because it's in combat. In which case, the scalp at least can be in here. That would be great. And you can have the screen. Cool. Okay. Well, how's the German Air Force looking? pretty freaking beefy. Much larger than mine. But we've got a lot of air bases here. We can concentrate force in a way they can't really. Good. Another two German subs down. They must be... Yeah, their numbers are plunging. I think we should probably have the main strike force take a breather. Because they're... Uh, I want to have a fuel reserve ready for this war. Obviously, they can just finish this battle. And then, yeah, just just uh, take a bit of a rest for now. That would be great. Okay. Landing craft. Oh, good time. Very good timing. Nice. Um, what else could we do with... More fuel extraction. Be very wise, I think. Yeah, okay. We've got the uh, we've got the numbers without the strike force to deal with these subs now. And the German surface fleet is uh, not a thing that exists, so that's good. I could do with a few more. Um, yeah, exactly. Some more scouts down here would be good. Just to get a little bit more coverage in the Mediterranean fleet in terms of screening. What I think I'll also do in preparation for the Japanese attack. Let's let's fort it up on this line. I want to see this be really difficult for them to break. And we also need an air base here. Good. Okay. Well, rolling towards these guys' deployment. I would like to invade America, but it's not it's not supremely necessary, I would say. Another detection in the English Channel. Possibly containing zero to two, one carriers, but actually sorry, capitals, but actually none. There's excavation, good. That's more oil. That's very good. More detection, I think. Would be superb. I think detection difference helps with spotting. Not sure, but I think so. Okay, let's have uh we, do we have some naval bombers that I could uh, I could be using over the channel as well? We've been building some naval bombers, haven't we? Yeah, we got we got a bunch of swordfish. 
to get some swordfish active over the channel. And let's have some swordfish manned by wonderful Polish manpower. Anything that dares shows its face, show its face in the channel. Actually, and we saw, oh yes, we saw that there were large numbers of um, Italian ships docked here. Still deploying. Oh yeah, 98, 98, there we go. Split it out. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some nice raids there. Oh yeah, looking good. Let's strike at them in a couple of places with some, some convoy raids. Sorry, some uh, port strike stuff. Any more for any more? Yeah, a couple in Dieppe. There goes another destroyer. Nice. Should have been doing this for a while. It's going to be good. Yeah, melting their fleets now. They're uh, getting hit in port. Good. All right, you guys, actually. Let's have a crack at Northwest Germany as well. Probably got some subs fixing themselves up there. Just one sub left there. Oh, look, the Germans do have a surface fleet. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Well, let's move against them. Got any more swordfish I could have? Yes, I do. Good lord. Uh, have I got enough to go to 800? Not quite. Uh, let's go to 800 and then delete some from down here. There we go. Good. You guys were deployed by uh, 17th. Okay. <clears throat> so they do still have a surface fleet. It's good to know. Good that we found that out before we uh, found ourselves being attacked by it with the... Uh, when we were trying to land. That would have been highly inconvenient. So all but four of you can move to here. And it, that port is in range of all of these planes. Uh, can't fly from there. Fair enough. So let's see what we can do with a large swordfish attack there. Let's see if we can actually bring down some of their ships. Oh, and another surface fleet? Yeah, a couple of big ships. I'm surprised they still have them. Give me that better AA for my boats. It's going to be especially useful against the Japanese. Oh, hello. They deployed a surface fleet here. Probably scared about this... Uh, aerial bombardment on their ports and then moved it out, would be my guess. What do we got here? Spare screen. The main task force needs your services immediately. Alright, good. And hopefully taking out a couple more Italian subs. Superb! Alright, can I rush deploy these guys yet? I can indeed. Fantastic. Let's get them in Wales. And they're going to need... Army, a colour, a symbol. Cool. Let's be having you then. Resistance map mode. So. What do we got down here? Point two there. One there. Do, do, do. Not much in the way of resistance. Uh, probably is some down here. Just because the French are present. No, there actually is none. Tehran, probably going to have a bit more. Yeah, one, two, three. Bit up into Briz. Fair enough, fair enough. Of course, some in uh, Iraq as well. My guess is there'll be some here once this guy leaves. Surprised there's none here. Hmm. Okay, that's probably good. And actually, we should really go harsh on Iran and Iraq because that's oil right there, baby. So, what are we looking at now? Yeah, point six here now. Let's, uh, let's grab a couple of extras to back this up. Do, 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 do. So what do we go with? we got uh, got two here already, so we throw one extra. Mosul is now going to need one. Tabriz needs an extra one. Tehran needs um, five total. Probably down here now, if I had to guess. If I was any judge. And two there. Let's go three just for safety. 
Ah, the North. Right, missed the North in the original check. Good. That should handle it. The remaining seven, I suppose, we'll use to garrison Germany once we get them. Excellent. Not so good, those port raids we've been operating around here, but, you know, we'll be wearing them down. We'll be doing damage. It's not like uh, you have to actually sink the ship to, uh, to cause the enemy problems. Okay, these guys almost ready. 27th. Very, very close. Shell dies. Nice. You can tell apart your... Uh, you can fire at the same target without too many problems. Uh, what else do we need? Yeah, land doctrine. We're way behind on that. Let's let's get some land doctrine done. Okay. Couple more days. I'm looking forward to this deployment. And we've got lots of divisions we can grab out of here as well. Ready to move. So we're looking at just the, the good divisions. Yes, and we're gonna go we're gonna go hard on this invasion. Listen up. In case that was in any doubt. We are gonna go. Freaking hard. Attention. All right. Who else? Who else are we looking at? Uh, Ready, you. Sir. One of you would be grand. Some of you guys. What's the other division? Exile division? Sure. Bring them along. The more the merrier. All right. There's 24. And wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> There's another 21, I think. Let's destroy a focus. Nice. Go straight into combo escort. Seems good. Uh, okay. 19, actually. Okay. So, you guys. Gonna need a new command structure. We're gonna need the very best that the British Army has to offer. <clears throat> Montgomery, I think your time has come. We're gonna redeploy you from the east where you will need a replacement. This guy looks good. Okay, we're gonna need a good invader troop here. There we go. There's our invader, Decker. He's gonna lead the main invasion force. Coming up the rear. Ooh, nice, larger army size. And he's good at commanding exiles. That's what I like to hear. You're in. Norwegian defenses. I'm gonna make them even weaker. in favor of making this invasion the best that it can be. Because they're not going to invade Norway while we invade them. And if they do, maybe that's okay. <laughs> so, Decker is going to lead the charge. He's a Dutch leader. He's got experience. Where's the invasion going to happen? Well, the prime thrust is going to be from Dover. We're going to land Dieppe. And we're going to land at Dunkirk. From there, we're going to rapidly move to liberate Paris and seize this river. While also pushing north and liberating the Belgium and the Netherlands. And again, moving to the river. Adopting a highly defensible position. From there, we will strike south from our southern positions. Thereby cutting off France from German reinforcement. From there, we will sweep south, liberating Vichy, Marseille, and Lyon, and cutting off Italian troops in France. The navy will be heavily active while we then liberate France with a broad push all the way across the line, annihilating the now encircled Italian divisions, and any that try to flee by the sea should be roundly destroyed. From there, we will solidify our position on the German front by pushing to the Rhine. And after that, we will uh, we'll move against the Germans and end this war. Of course, you guys, once you've done that, will want to attempt to stabilize. Probably will want to push to this side of that river against the Italians. That seems most wise. Good. Looks like a solid invasion plan to me. We're going to need substantially more men in these invasions. Backing us up. 
We're going to land all the way along the coast. Yes, We're going to rapidly seize the airport in Calais. Looks good to me. Ready. The backup troops are going to be standing by in Dover. Ready to go. Ready to move. Ready to move, exactly. Okay. That's the plan. Such as it is. I think it looks good. I think we're going to... Uh, I think we're going to have some success here. I'm concerned, very concerned, that the Italians are going to push us back. But I'm hopeful that they're heavily deployed on the Eastern Front. We shall see. We shall see. Wish me luck. I will see you in the next episode for, quite possibly, the invasion. I think, uh, I think we're more or less ready to do this thing. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.